Hi kids, today you're going to be learning about drawing the human head. It is actually a very simple thing. The only difference is whether you know the proportion of the human face or you're just putting on two eyes, one mouth and one nose anywhere you want. And even if you were to put it anywhere you want, you won't really screw up big time, you know. It's just, it, it's not going to look pretty decent at all, okay? So, these are the rules that governs a decent human head. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to give you some time to read it. I'm just going to start by drawing the generic human head here, okay? Now, here you go. Okay, let's begin. Half of the human head, vertically, okay, vertically, here, is where the eye level is. This will be the eyebrow for me. Okay, so, half of the head is the eye, and as for the eyebrow, own time, own target, you know, just don't put it too high, don't put it too low, but you know, just somewhere there, it's up to you actually. Now, once you've established the eyebrow, half of the eyebrow to the chin is where the nose is. Okay, so this is where the nose is. And from the nose to the chin, one third of it is about here. This is where the mouth is. Now that we have the guidelines, I'm just going to lighten the guidelines up. As for the eyebrow, I'm just going to do a simple brow shape. Okay, now as for the eyes. As for the nose. Now a lot of people have problem drawing the nose and it might surprise you to realize that the front view of the nose could be easily expressed in this manner. So all I need to do is and there you have the nose. Okay, and as for the mouth, okay again, the mouth could be easily um suggested by simple lines like this. So I'm just going to do this. And as for the year, the top of the year equals the eyebrow and the bottom of the year equals the nose. No, I just going to I'm just going to go about strengthening Okay, so this is basically a basic human hate. As for the side view, okay, um, I'm just going to clear this part. This is basically the side view of the human hate. Okay. Once again, Half of it is where the eye is. From the eyebrow to the chin is the nose area. And one third of it is the mouth. I think this is it. The brow slightly protrudes. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in so that it's easier for you to see. Okay. The brow slightly protrudes. No. And uh, the nose. The mouth. The cranium part, if you divide this by half, you have realized that they are about equal distance from each other. So the front side of the face is just about as thick as the back side of it. Okay, so yeah, might be something 
interesting to note about. I'm just gonna keep it simple here. The eyebrow aligns with the ear, the nose. It's best to just look at photos of ears to understand how it goes. Okay. Basically, it's a Y shape. Okay, you have to. Notice this area. Notice, see the Y here? So, um, uh, if you are able to suggest this Y formation in the year, you're pretty much alright. You don't really have to draw in details, you know? This is it for the basic human head. Let me see what else do I need to talk about. Um, yeah, okay. Um, the ideal human hate. These are just basic proportion guides to get you started. In real life, you know, we have slightly different proportions for everybody. That's why we all look unique. But when you're first starting out, it will be of use to you to know what are the basic human feature placements the so-called perfect nose will be within the eye area see the side of the nose is within the eye area ideally the mouth should be aligned with the center of your iris okay in this case it's looking more to the side so this would have been his center and this would have been his center. Notice that I tend to draw the mouth a little bit on the small side. Yeah, the mouth could easily extend to this area. But um, yeah, I, I like to draw it small. I think small nose, a small mouth uh, is a very nice feature. I think that's it. I'll talk more about it in details if it's necessary. Okay, thanks kids. Goodbye.